bloody feeling. It's that bloody feeling. It's that haunted, bro. It's that haunted, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Dad's RC Hanger. The haunted version. The haunted version. <laughs> Who was that scary geezer? I mean, come on. Right, hello everybody. Welcome back. In fact, let's shut my door. Got to shut my door. Welcome back to Dad's RC Hanger. My name's Chris and you can't see me, but you don't need to see me because you want to see this lugly. Lugly? What the hell is lugly? Why am I lugly? Anyway, you want to see this? It's all good. <laughs> the Tiger Moth. Well, so I've been doing stuff off camera because I thought, well, rather than giving about a thousand videos, um, uh, rather than go through a thousand videos, I'll show you what I've done. So, um, before, uh, before I go into that, let me just, uh, turn the phone off. Because everyone seems to call me at this time of day, and it's most annoying. Now, while I'm turning this phone off, um, let's, uh, let me show you a couple of things. Let me show you a couple of pictures. So, this picture here you're looking at, you're thinking, yes, Chris, it's some holes and two little bolts with some green or blue stuff on. Yes, now what this is, this is the, um, I finally got the clip that I wanted for the exhaust, I will show you in a minute. Um, I put an extra piece of um, balsa wood, I think it's about 5mm balsa wood, uh, so it gives it a bit more of something to grip on, and then drilled two holes through the body from the bottom, and put a couple of the bolts through, and put some blue Loctite on so I can undo them again. So yeah, so that's something I did um, earlier on in the week. Also, earlier in the week, as you can see, this is the um, uh, igniter, uh, the, glow, the glow igniter that we put in. So I'll put it up there. I know it's a bit close to the fuel tank. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to blow up, but, you know, up in flames, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so that's why I decided to stick it out the way um, and bring the cables through. There you can see a couple of holes. In fact, there's, uh, uh, you can see a couple of screws, which I'll show you what they are. And there's also another hole which was done after that for the other pipe but that's where my pipes go through anyway and let me show you this this is the shot before i put the bottle in um basically i've seen this on um uh, motion rc james though that did it on motion rc and also um rich from rc informer they put this kind of uh um, um uh, it's, it's, it's a side slip and there is a name for it i'll show you in a minute anyway and then there's some double-sided spongy tape. Uh, so it's only very thin, a couple of mil, um, or a six, couple of sixteenths, or whatever you like to call it. And I just put that on there and cut out the hole, so obviously I can get to the parts I need to get to. But that will help um, help get the bottle, uh, stop the bottle from moving about, hopefully, he says. So let's have a take a look while we're in the overcam. So I thought this shot would be a bit better um, than trying to sort of move the camera the only thing is, is the light. I've just got to look at the light, but um, and try and not smash the plane up. So you can just about see in there all the pipes that go in there. Um, obviously, I've got my um, uh, Velcro strap holding the bottle in. Um, it shouldn't. Move, hopefully, it won't move too much. I've got a couple of bits of spongy either side. Obviously, this is halfway because the rod um, that, that does the, um, the throttle goes down that way. But I'm hoping that won't move. I mean, the strap I could probably move it in the other holes here put another strap here but i'm hoping that shouldn't slosh about unless i have a, a real tough landing um so here's my cables now i put uh the end on and oh my golly gosh and i can't remember what they're called i will find out in a minute but it's those uh just not the jst connectors it's something anyway I, i've got to watch that light it's such a bad in fact let's put my my uh youtube light on um, behind me, it's behind you. Okay, let's see if that. Uh, I turn that up a bit. That might help the shadows. Probably not. Down, 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 down. So that's a really poor, actually, shadows music. Anyway, uh, this is the power to the igniter. Um, it's really weird. It's got like a little special bit on the end. So I'm going to cut that off anyway. Um, that'll go to all the power electronics, and I'll show you where that's going to go in a minute. Um, now, 
we'll show you the front first. It's, that obviously is going to go into the cowling for the, um, the gunk that comes out, whatever it does. I've not really seen that. And under here, you can see, here and here, if I get that in focus for you, you can see my fuel filter. So the pipe comes out there into the fuel filter and up into the carb. I have uh, the exhaust outlet that comes um, from the bottle to the exhaust. And on this side, I've got the filler. Now we'll go into that in a little while. And I know you're waiting for this. Drum rolls, please. Here comes the exhaust. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that. That is one sexy exhaust. Every exhaust can be sexy. That is, I think it's great. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Now, I want to show you uh, something, and I'll probably make it with the cameras around the other way, about the bottom of this. Um, which I'll explain and it's kind of hard to explain here. There's the, the outlet pipe. Now we're going to make another hole later in a little while, later on in a little while. What I do is when I do this hole, um, I get the end of one of my files, which is kind of like a, a foamy end. And I dab it with, um, uh, what do I dab it with? Super glue and then spin it in the circle, in the hole. That way it kind of puts super glue around the edge. So if this does stretch, it's not going to tear and come apart and bits and pieces like this. Now I'll probably be able to show you here, right, this little, uh, you can see the two bolts on, just done it, would it be that side to be better? Can you see that? Let's, let's just get it there. Oh, the shadow's getting, you can just about see actually. Right, you've got a couple of uh, Allen bolts that go through there. Now the last thing to go on is the muffler, which, turn, which spins around to tighten because it's trying to do it another way, just impossible, absolutely impossible. Well, I couldn't do it anyway. Now, the trouble is, is this brass nipple that joins onto the uh, pipe. <laughs> it, it's got to spin round. It's got to miss the bottom. Um, so, when you, if you do, if you're going to do this um, exhaust like I've done, now I did buy two just for the option that I might mess up, which I did. So, when you do uh, the right angle here, go a bit further. So you're about another. So you come up. So when you bend it. Um, let's see if I can get this in shot. When you bend it, bend it about here, just before the hole, as close as you can get, because that way it gives a lot. It gives a, a, a deeper from from the fuselage to so it enables the muffler to spin. <laughs> it's probably very badly explained, but when you tighten the muffler, that nipple is going to keep hitting. Um, so this is lucky enough. I had two. Um, so on this one, um, I bent it about here. Uh, just just before the hole and that gave me an extra depth there for away from the uh, uh, away from the the bottom uh, of the plane the underbelly of the plane to enable me to tighten up the the muffler so if you're going to do that remember to do that or buy two of these <laughs> they are pennies they really are cheap as chips in fact they're cheaper and chips um, yeah so that's what I've been doing today and also um, um, as you can notice, uh, if you do follow me on um, Instagram or, or, the, or the Facebook, then you'll see this picture anyway. Um, but I actually dropped this. <laughs> and a pilot, he fell out. So I thought, what would be a great idea to stick this uh, co-pilot in the front and then uh, this enable me to um, put uh, maybe another pilot or put like a run cam or, um, or, or something else, uh, another cam to record the flight. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Now we did I talk to you about the, the switch. Now if you can see it inside there, just in the corner there, is a little LED. That's why I decided to put the LED. So and it's a white one on here, not red. So when I push that on, that stays on for as long as the voltage comes out. So I know that I'm going to get um, power to the to the engine. So it will uh, the glow, the glow plug. Um, underneath, um, I just put another one of them plugs on there. I put a bit of bolster across here. Um, I need to see it. Uh, there we go. Can we see it? We'll get in focus, maybe Chris. A bit of light. Who knows? It's Halloween. It keeps making these shadows. You know, scary. Uh, <laughs> that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Easy, Tigress. So that, yeah. So a bit of bolster across there. Just a bit of a, a, a nick in the middle, so the the cables don't tug on the on the electronics. They just it's just there. And the way this will go in. If I can bring this into the ghost in the light, get, oh, here we go. Um, is it will plug into there? I will. Sh I will probably shorten this cable actually, and then it stays in there. So uh, I'll, I'll 
did notice this. I, I put this on as well, white LED, so I knew which one was the LED and which one was the switch. I'm probably going to chop these back and redo the end, uh, just because I like crimping, not. Um, <laughs> in fact, I do. It's quite therapeutic. Put a bit of music on and crimp away. So I'll probably put that on there, or maybe a bit shorter, so you know I can get it to there. Um, it all depends how high we come up on here, which we're going to do today. Um, what else did we do? Yes. So in, here's my is my filler. Here is my filler that I did. Um, I put that on, and that was fun trying to get that in. On the real aeroplane, I'm going to show you. Now, here's a picture of the actual tank that I was looking at. Um, and in fact, there's lots of tanks like this, and this is slightly a bit forward. Hang on, sorry, come back off the picture. Come back to me. Stop looking at the pictures. Right, so that should be there, but it hard enough trying to get this there. Fingers and thumbs and, oh my God. And here's the pipe ready to pop out the bottom. Um, and you're saying why it's so short, so I've got to make a hole there. We're going to do that today. Why it's so short? Well, you're going to have to wait and see, aren't you? So, if you're quite relaxed and quite happy to sit along and watch for a few more minutes, as we're going to try and keep this like a 20, 25 minutes or whatever before I turn into a pumpkin, um, then, you know, grab yourself a drink, pause it, grab yourself a drink, and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll move the camera around. Alrighty, back in the room. Okay, so, also what I didn't forgot to show you was the cowling. Um, I've made a bit of a pig's ear of it, I think. I didn't need a, too much of a gap here. Um, it should have gone along where, you know, you have to put it on. Now, for those of you who's looking at the knuckle uh, that comes out the side of the engine to downwards, it does, it does touch the side. It even flares it out just a little bit. What it's going to do to the fiberglass when it gets hot, I don't know. If it's going to make a big hole, is it going to catch a flyer? Catch a flyer? Is it going to go up in flames or catch fire? That's what I meant to say. Who knows? Um, but it's not too bad. I can always get some fiberglass if I really want to and shape it properly um, to go fit over the, um, the underpipe. But I still prefer it rather than coming out the side and seeing a big muffler along the side. Most definitely. Um, but it does fit and it does go on. Um, yeah. Right, so what are we doing here? I don't know, what are we doing here? You tell me. We're gonna put some ends on, no, 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 19. We're gonna put these on, these struts. Now, I did find that um, when I got this struts, in fact, you can see here, 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 here and here, is no holes, you're saying, oh my God. But if you rub it, ever so gently, oh, hello, missus. If you rub it, you'll see the hole appear. Not the hole, but there'll be like a little bump. Or not a bump, I am all words today. Not a bump, but an indent, there you go. Not too happy about the seal there, but well, whatever. So if you rub it again, well, oh, gently, gently. You could just about see that, can you, maybe-ish? Anyway, they appear. Because I thought to myself, oh no, you know, they've got to drill the holes, it's gonna be wonky, the wings are gonna, you know, not fit properly, la da 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 But anyway, so I've got my iPhone, because I forgot my iPad. <laughs> And we're going to screw things on. So, it says that uh, this needs, this kind of like cap cap here, it's like a round cap, it needs to be at the bottom and also at the back. So that will fit in here. Inside here, there's two little bolts and I've forgotten the, the nuts, sorry, there, there's a name for the nuts and I can't remember what they're called. Um, unless it says, does it say on the, no, it doesn't say on the phone. I forgot what they're called. But you know what I mean, the nuts that grip into the into the bolter. Then we've got our, um, is that my teeth sitting on the side there? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do it, it's a Halloween special. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so I've got new teeth coming. I'm a bit funny today, because I've been to the dentist again. I had a feeling and my, I'm still a bit numb. So the packet that has all the cabling, obviously for the struts, this is the one we want. And what these are these little um, Allen bolts. And it also it says, I could have done with me Magno tray, but it's Magno tray, but it's full of bits. But that's okay. I'm just gonna make a mess. I love it when I'm so prepared. I, I do try. Right, that, those connectors were the JST-XH connectors. This one, yeah. I knew there's a J in it or something. Oh my god, he's dropping, he's dropping stuff. This is what happens when you don't have a magno tray or something to put it in. 
I almost like I need a cup or something because there's so much in this bag. <clears throat> I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a cap, a, a cap of a cap, a lid. There we go. I use a lid. Just hold tight. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Well, you can. Let's, let's pour it in here. There you go. See what I mean? It's got lots of bits, and my chubby fingers are just don't stand a chance. So we want these. One of these little. <laughs> pick up. I can't pick them up. One of these, um, just don't lose these bits. If you lose any of these bits, you bet you can't even see. If you lose any of these bits, you're stuffed. So, um, <laughs> let's not knock it. So, once again, here, here, and here, if I rub this side here, I'm going to rub your special like. You you'll should see some holes, which is there. Plonk. And if I rub it here, and you'll see a little, a little indent, plonk. There's our little two holes there. We want those. So this one says it points to the back, right? So we want the, there's like a flat edge one and there's a, a round edge one. So the round edge one is the one we want. And it has a little washer and a little bolt. And we put it in the side. It's so exciting, eh? Exciting times. Stick it in there, and Bob's your uncle. Fanny could be your aunt, and we we'll do the same with the front half. I don't know. Yes. Uh, so, Mick should be here next week, so we will take a week off next week, off the Tiger Moth. <coughs> Excuse me, don't run away though, please come visit me to see the unboxing of the MIG. Now, I have behind the camera, because you can't see it, another plane that I want to unbox, but I've been so busy and not been able to do like a midweek one, um, and I'm not promising you another one just in case I can't do it, but I need to get it done because I need to get the box out of the way. <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's a plane that I wanted for about a year and a half, I saw it, and I, I just couldn't get hold of one, and then, it, uh, it, you know, I didn't get it. And I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Um, and then I saw it, uh, and I thought, oh my golly gosh, and it was the only one. Um, and I can't seem to find another one, so it's a bit of a, a retro. Now, anyway, enough of this, come on, stop it. <laughs> Talk, the talk is cheap. Let's build. Right, so we need to let, once again find the holes on here. So, yes, the, even the dog, you can hear the dog in the background saying, Yes, yes, stop talking, stop waffling. Let's just uh, crack on. Right, you have to excuse the dog, bless her heart. Right, there's one there, and there should be one up here somewhere. Now, I believe it's here. Is it there? Oh, God, that doesn't sound too ominous. I think it is there. Looks like it is. That's not popping, is it? Hmm. I think it is there. Maybe we need a, a sharper instrument. Yes, it's there. It's just a bit, I um, don't know, it's a bit odd. Um, so we rub it again here, and we've got one there. Like so. And we've got one at the back. Like so. Now, before we do that, I'm going to have to, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to um, cut a hole. Okay, he's back. Now, before I do anything else, let's just put this over here. <laughs> I know you were saying, go on, drop it, drop it. No, no, you wasn't. Right, so if you come back to the picture that I'm showing you here, um, you can see the copper pipe um, that I'm going to be doing. Yes, I'm going to put some copper pipe. Where is my copper pipe? Back. Here's the copper pipe. I'm going to bend around and it's going to be near enough scale um, as if it was. So basically I need to make a hole. I would say, guesstimation wise, I would say looking at that picture, it's got to be around there. Just around there I reckon. Let me just see where it is on here. I'm going to go for gold. I'm going to go for right there. Now I'm going to scare all the modelers out there. I'm going to scare because I've got the big boy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. 
there you go <laughs> it's all right let me before I let's, uh, let's make sure I can get the pipe in there I can now I just wanted to put the, uh, the pipe in there because I want the pipe just to come out on the bottom here so I'm going to do my little trick um, here so if you can see it's, it's all fine in there it's it, it'd be fine but if this tightens and it stretches and pulls it will all come off so what I'm using is my super glue industrial super glue yes <laughs> he's lost it it's a Friday right so I'm gonna just hopefully I will use this the other day so it shouldn't um, have all glued up oh, oh, oh. Um, yep so I just put a bit on there as you can see or you probably can't see and then all I'm going to do is just stick it around here, just to impact this a bit too much. Let me find something to put super glue on the wall. <laughs> I went a bit mad. And all I'm going to do is just rub it around in the hole, just so it's it's just lightly on the edges. Sounds like my neighbour's cleaning up his um, leaves. <laughs> Shall I turn to leave it alone for a minute? Boom, boom, I'm here all week. Right, so now we do need another one of these for one while that's drying. Four bolts and a palm tree and a pear tree. And we're going to need um, nearly Christmas. And then we're going to have four washers. Yes, sir. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the bag just to give this a light. Um, just to give the thingy. So, I'm going to shut up because I might have to fast forward this. Okay, that's the point when you hope that everything's in the bag. <laughs> I guess we'll come to it later on if it's not. So why that's drying we can carry on putting this on It's all kind of cracking every time I tighten it, so that says to me that could be tight. Look at that, wicked. So there we go. So we've got a little pop there. Fuel goes in there. Glug 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 glug. Oh yes, that's the view we want. Look at that, lovely. So this will go inside because it will be inside the tube um, about that much, and then we'll push it up into here. So the way the, that picture went is that it kind of comes straight round here, almost at an angle dangle. So I reckon if I do my little bend, so we'll, this is all guesstimate, you know, it doesn't have to be mega mega. So we look, want to go in there about there, so the bend should be about there. Now, look at that. I reckon that ain't bad. That's not bad. In fact, I could probably do a bend right there. Now, it's going to fit on the cowling. In the cowling. So, let's get the cowling. Simon cowling. Okay, who stole it? It's over here. Who put it there? Sure. Let's stick it together. I just want it to come down in there, you see. And this is a bit fiddly to put on. There we go. Let's go back a bit more. So what I want this to do, I want it to actually come down to here. So I'm going to have to sort of bend it to there and then just to come into the side. But still, I mean, that's not bad, is it? Okay, so that brings us to another end of the video of Daz RC Hanger and our Tiger Moth. 
as you can see it's, it is getting there I mean I know I've been doing some stuff off camera um, but that's just to stop you know getting thousands and thousands of videos about one plane um, if there's any particular thing that I've kind of missed out and you want to know uh, please leave uh, something in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can to explain what I did or just join our forum and ask us in the forum um, just search for you know dadsarsyhanger.co.uk and you'll find us um, but yeah so I am going to as I say I'm going to try and get some um, some tubing uh, some uh, flexible tube or whatever I call it pipe cleaner um, <clears throat> and see if I can shape it first rather than like you know do it off the fly like that I thought I might be able to do it on the fly like that but um, you know it, it would be fine but it's just little little things that I want it to be right. If you're going to do something, you're going to put something in that's not going to be there. Um, then you've got to do it right, no? So, if you are out Halloweening, please be careful and be safe. Wear a face mask at all times. Keep the kiddies safe. Keep yourself safe. You know, we want you back here. Um, if you're not and you do it inside, then have a whale of a time and have some great fun. Um, and if not, we'll see you next week. Now, next week, hopefully, if it arrives, will be the MiG-29. Uh, unboxing so keep an eye out for that um, and then the week after we get back to the Tiger Moth where we'll put the wings on um, as I say I'll do this copper I'll explain afterwards um, we'll put the wings on get a fit and uh, get the electronics done as well so yeah it's grooving and then she'll be ready for a maiden so if we do get a crisp winter's day this year then I'm gonna get her out there if not then she'll be stored away until uh, next year when the weather uh, um, comes nice so on that note be safe if you can fly let's scrub that shall we <laughs> it's today if you can fly be safe and be careful if you're going out tonight enjoy yourselves and most of all thanks for popping by you look after yourselves now see you later now bye bye <laughs>